Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, we are making these little chicken Easter egg covers, or just egg covers, they don't have to be Easter. So what I've done is I've made these so that your little eggs can fit into them. And they sit around. So I thought these were gonna be cute, and I, I wanna tell you the little story of how this came about. So um, for those of you that don't know, um, I, we, m Matt and I like to go to antique shops, uh, antique malls, flea markets, resale shops, what, a, what have you. And I like to find old vintage crochet things. And then I like to take those old things and give them a little new life. Now that could be either um, a doll getting her cleaned up and uh, what have you, or finding old things like this and then recreating them. So in one of my chatting with Alana's, it has been a while. I, I do not remember which one it was. I showed you guys that I found these chickens. And I asked, I asked my viewers, I said, what are these? I don't know. I said, I, I, uh, I think they go on an egg, but I'm not for sure. And then some of you answered and said, yes, they, you know, they made them years ago and then they put eggs in them. Well, I thought that was too cute. I loved it, and I thought when it gets close to Easter or and or spring, whichever, I'm going to make some for my YouTube channel. So I sat down, and I picked apart, figuring out what she did when she made these, or he, whatever, and, uh, and I created my own. <laughs> now, I've done several different ones, because she actually, uh, this, like the little cone, comb, or cone, I don't know how, what that's called, on a chicken. It's actually the same color as the yarn, and then it's got little red eyes. I didn't want a red-eyed chicken. So, I designed a couple different ones. So, this one, I left it unworked. I left it with just, the, like, the the uh, the silhouette of a chicken. The shape of a chicken, I guess you could say. So, it has no eyes, and it doesn't have the beak, and it doesn't have the little cone thing, which I'm probably going to add one after this. <laughs> but then I got a little Easter egg inside there. So there's that one, but then there's also ones like these, where I've got the beak, the eye, and then the cone. And then I have one back here where I just did an eye. Like that. I only just did the eye. And I kind of like in the ones that have the comb and the beak on them. So then that, that's what leads me to these. So this is the one we're going to make in the tutorial. Um... I honestly, I have to say, I like the chickens that are the sol solid color with the different color bottom. Now, if you notice, this one has the same color bottom as her tail feathers, and so does this one. But I liked this one where I wanted it to look like she was sitting in a little basket on her egg. So this one is probably going to be my favorite. Um, and then probably this one. But you guys can go crazy with your colors. Like in the tutorial, we make this one where the tail feathers are the same color as the chicken. And then she's sitting on a little purple basket. Now, you don't have to do that. I mean, all you got to do is just follow the, um, the color pattern however you want to do it. You know, just change color. Uh, but these are super quick and easy to make up. I love them. I think they're adorable. And I'm probably going to end up just adding eyes and beaks to these. <laughs> But anyhow, that's how these little egg covers came to be. What are you going to need? You're going to need any scrap four-weight acrylic yarn you have. Doesn't matter what you have, what what brand it is, whatever. Get you some scrap yarn. And then I used a four millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need scissors, a yarn needle to weave in your ends, and then I just happen to have a little bit of fabric tack sitting right... Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop that. A little bit of fabric tack sitting right next to me. Um, definitely not necessary. All I did was just put a little drop in between the eyes. So it helped hold it in. Um, you don't have to do that. Whenever you knot it together, it stays. Anyway. And that's all you're going to need. So get you some scrap yarn. Get you some yellow black and red for the comb and the eye and the beak and that's it so get your supplies together and let's get start oh you're gonna need eggs oh, God. you're gonna need some eggs and i just got these little easter eggs over a dollar so get you some eggs and now let's get started 
Okay guys, to get started with our little egg covers, we are going to get a slip knot on our hook and we're going to chain 31. So I am not going to make you guys watch me chain 31. So I'm going to do it off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I got my chain of 31 done. So for row one, we are going to single crochet into that second chain from our hook. So not that yellow one, but this little purple one right there. We're going to single crochet into there. And then we're going to single crochet into each chain all the way to the end. Okay, so go ahead and single crochet to the end of your chain and I will meet you when I get there. Okay, so I've made, <laughs> sorry, I made it to the end of my chain. I've got one more chain to crochet into right there, to single crochet into. So get into there, and there we go. So we should have 30 single crochets. It's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good deal. All right. Sorry, I'm right. I'm taking notes as we go. Okay, so row two, we are going to get our working yarn, not our, ta not our tail, chain one and turn. And we are going to front loop, single crochet into each single straight across. So front loop, we just go, like if we turn it this way, you get something to point with. We have our front loops and then our back loops. So back loop, back loop, back loop, front loop, front loop, front loop, front loop. I feel like I'm saying fruit loop. <laughs> but what we're going to do is insert our hook from the bottom to the top of the front loop. and work a single from the bottom to the top and work a single. That's a front loop, single crochet front, meaning the loop that's facing us. Okay. So we're going to single crochet all the way down. And what that's doing is leaving a little ridge, a little ridge right there. All right, so go ahead and finish uh, front loop single crocheting all the way down your singles until the end. And I'll meet you when we get to the end, okay? We still should have 30 sing uh, front loops. 30 front loop single crochet. I still, I feel like I'm saying fruit loop every time I say that. I think the color of the yarn is making me think fruit loops. Anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I worked that straight across. I've got 30 singles still. So that was row two. So row three, we're gonna chain one and turn. And row three, we're gonna work a back loop single crochet. So like I showed you earlier, back loops, front loops. So for the back loops, we go down to the top and out the bottom and single down through the top and out the bottom and single. So that is our back loop singles. All right, so go ahead and work your back loop single crochets all the way down your piece and I'll meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so I've repeated that across. I've got one more that I need to work into right there. See the top of that last single? I'm gonna go right into the back loops and single. So that was the end of row three and we're gonna move on to row four. So chain one and turn. Now for row four, we are going to work in the front loops again. However, we're not gonna work into that very first single crochet and we're not going to work into the very last one. So we're only going to work into the uh, second, second single all the way down 
and leave that last one unworked. Do not work into that one, okay? So front loops again, skip, don't forget, don't or, uh, skip that first one into the second one from the bottom up on that first loop, or I mean front loop. Okay? So work that across and I'm gonna come back when we're at the second to last one. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm coming to the end. I have three more singles. One, two, three. So I'm gonna front loop into that next one. Front loop, single crochet into the, the next one. And that's it. We wanna leave that last one unworked, okay? All right, so that was row four. Now we're gonna chain one and turn. And we're gonna move on to row five. And row five, we're gonna back loop, single crochet across, just like we did. But again, we're gonna skip that first one. Don't go into that first one. And then into the next one, we're gonna back loop. So into the top to the bottom, just like that. And we're gonna back loop, single crochet into 12. So we already did two. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oop, eleven, and twelve. Give me some slack. All right, so we worked into 12, and now we're gonna back loop, single crochet decrease over the next two. So basically, we're just working the single crochet decrease just in the back loops. So we're gonna go in, pull up a loop, go into the next one, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through three. All right, now we're gonna single crochet into, or back loop single crochet into the next 12. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that's leaving that last single crochet unworked, which is exactly what we want. All right, that was row four or uh, five. So we're gonna move on to row six. And row six, we chain one and turn. I feel like I need to move you guys. Okay, so for row six, we're gonna skip our first one, just like always, or well, just like before. We're gonna skip that first single crochet. And then into the next one, we're gonna work a front loop single and now we're going to front loop single into the neck or into 10 so we already have one so here's two three four five six seven eight nine 10. Now we're going to front loop, single crochet, decrease. So go into the next one, pull up a loop, go into the next one, oop, front loop only, go into the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now we're going to front loop, single crochet into the next 12, or uh, 11, I'm sorry, 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that last single crochet is unworked. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to move on to row seven. So row seven, we're going to chain one and turn. 
and row seven, we are going to skip the first single crochet and then we're going to back loop single crochet into the next nine. So skip your first back loop into one, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we're going to back loop, single crochet, decrease over the next two. So go into your back loop, pull up a loop, go into the next one, the next single crochet, back loop, pull up a loop. We've got three, yarn over, pull through three. Now we're going to sing back loop, single crochet into the next nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we're leaving that last one unworked. So perfect. All right, so that's the end of row seven. So now what we're gonna do, chain one, and we're gonna turn our work, but we're gonna fold our work in half now, okay? So fold it in half to where the ridges from all those front loops and back loops we worked are to the outside. Okay. So here's how we just finished row seven, chain one, and then take your work, turn it, and then bring this other end to you and fold it in half just like that. Okay. So now our work's set in like this. There's the last single crochet in the chain one. Now let's turn it to where we can see the very first single crochet we just worked on that on row seven. And what we're going to do is back loop slip stitch through both back loops of our row seven. And we're going to slip stitch it shut at the top. So if you can see, uh, let me get something to point with. Right here is that very first single crochet. So we're going to catch that back loop and then the back loop of this very first crochet, single crochet. And that's what we're going to slip stitch closed. Okay. So I'm going to catch that back loop on here and then the back loop on this side and slip stitch. The next one and the next one and slip stitch. Here and there, slip stitch, this one and this one, slip stitch. Now when we get to the end, we should have one that's not worked, that doesn't have a partner to work into. So if you look, we have this light purple right there and then that purple right there. Then right here is still another single. It's that light pink and that's going to have the uh, orangish colored one right there. So I have one here and then one more into that loop and then into that orangish colored one. Slip stitch. Now that yellow one doesn't get worked. So we're going to chain one, pull up a loop and turn again. So into the back loops of the slip stitches we just did, we're going to single, like you can see the back loops right there, here, here, and here. We're gonna single crochet into the first four. So the very first one, back loop only, I'm gonna work a one, two, three, and four. Okay, so that's the first row of our head. So now we're gonna chain one and turn and into that very first single, we're going to work one single and one double. Oops. Okay. Now into the next one, we're going to work one double. And into the next single, we're going to work two doubles.
Now into that last single crochet right there, turn it sideways if you can't see the top, we're going to work a double and then one single, about yarned over, sorry, <laughs> and a single, okay? Look at my pattern here. All right, now we're going to chain one and turn. And now we're just going to work one single into each of the stitches across the top of the head. All right, I've got one more, that little pink one right there. Okay, now I'm going to rotate my work, and if you can see, right along here, I'm going to work two singles. I'm going to work one here, and then I'm going to come down and work another one, right around that last stitch. One there, and then I'm going to come down closer to the top of the back and work a single. And then I'm going to chain one, pull up a loop, and then cut. All right, and pull that. Now I'm gonna find my needle. I ha I swear I had one. S yep, there it is, right under my pattern. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take that tail, and I'm gonna weave this in. But the way I'm gonna weave it in is I'm gonna bring it right down the back of the chicken, just like this through the inside. So what that's doing is helping holding that ba the back of the head down, like that. I'm going to flip it. I'm just going to run this through some stitches. Um, do not just as we're since we're weaving in ends, don't weave in this first end right here, okay? Because we're going to need that to as a little guide for where we are. All right, good enough. Cut. And there's the head of our chicken. Now, if you are wanting to add the you know, the red part and his little beak and the eye. Um, I'll do that at the end. But if you don't want to do that, then your head's done. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work the bottom portion. So uh, for this, I'm going to use a matching solid color. So I'm going to go with this purple, trying to keep it with the spring Easter colors. All right, so get a slip knot on our hook. And then where that last, that tail is right there, can you see the, the little hole underneath it? What this is, this is the remaining loops from our beginning chain. And what we're gonna do is work one double crochet into each of those remaining loops, okay? So that, ch or that uh, tail helps us see where the very first one is. So I'm going to go right into there with a slip stitch. Oh, come on now. Chain one and then double crochet right back into it. And then I'm going to work a double crochet into each of the remaining loops. So if you're having a hard time seeing if, or uh, finding the hole, look for right here, look at this right here. This are, is the remaining, or uh, the legs from the first single crochet we worked in row one. They're just upside down. So if I take my hook and I just go put it right on those legs and push through, that's the remaining, I'm, what I'm getting ready to work around is the remaining loops right where I need to be. So I just find those two legs of that next single, put it right on there, push through and right there I, I'm right underneath those remaining loops so I can work around them. So just find those two legs from that beginning single crochet and that's where uh, the hook needs to go to work around those remaining loops. I hope that wasn't confusing. Okay so I am going to work a double crochet into each of those remaining loops. Oops. 
all the way around, okay? So I will be right back. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I've come to the end, and I want to make sure everybody knows there's one more that I need to work into right there. See the legs of that single right there? Right in there. So you should have 30 double crochet, okay? So we're going to bring the bottom around, and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that very first double that we worked. And chain one. Now what we're going to do is rotate this a little and then only through, well, I shouldn't say that. Never mind. All right. Chain one and then turn. And what we're going to do is insert our hook right through that double crochet and this double on the double crochet on the back right through there and work a slip stitch. And we're going to do it again into farther down the double crochet this side and then one on Oh, dang it. Come on. On the other side and slip stitch. Now I'm going to go right in to where our purple began. So we're right where it transitions from purple to the color. Right in there. And I'm going to slip stitch. All right. Chain one, pull up a loop and fasten off. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to get all these ends weaved in that we've got. And it's starting to come together. All right, I'm going to get these ends weaved in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got those ends weaved in and now we're going to make, oh, excuse me. We're going to make her little tail feathers. I say her because she's set on the eggs. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Get a slip knot on your hook. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is I've got the back facing me and I'm going to attach down here right where the purple and the color meet. Okay. I'm going to attach with a slip stitch. Just anywhere I can get in there. Slip stitch. Chain one. I'm going to go back in there with the single. Now I'm only on one side. I'm not working through both. Okay. So I'm going to single into there. And I'm going to single again, evenly spaced. Don't stretch it out too far or don't put it in the exact same spot as the first one. Okay. Now we're going to half double crochet in a neatly separated, a neatly spaced out area, half double crochet again. And now I'm going to work, I'm going to start doubles. So I'm going to work one, See that big hole that created? I'm not going to go back in there. Two. Work one more. Three. Now I'm going to go to trebles. And I'm going to work here. One. Two. Three. I'm going to rotate my work as I'm going. I'm going to go four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, one more, nine. All right, now I'm going to go to doubles. I'm going to work one. I don't want to work into that big hole. Ah. Two, 
three. I'm going to work a half double, one half double, and two half double. And then I'm going to finish this with one, two singles. I'm going to come around and slip stitch to that first single crochet. Slip stitch right there and get that tail out of the way. Chain one and pull up loop. And I'm going to cut. All right. So there's our little chicken. Get her tail to puff out. <laughs> Take the A, insert it. And there it is. She sits. Aw, she's adorable. All right, I'm going to get these ends weaved in, and I will be right back. Okay, so I got those ends weaved in, and I put the egg inside of my chicken. Now, you can either be done with your chicken, or we can add the little embellishments, like the beak, the, uh, the eye, and then the comb, or cone, or whatever it's called. So... I'm going to show you first the eye, so I'm going to pop my, <laughs> pop my egg out. <laughs> that was cute. I'm going to put it in this one. Set it to the side. All right, now I'm going to get my black yarn. And we don't need a super long piece, so I'm just going to use a piece that's about, I don't know, a foot long maybe. And I'm going to tie a knot right in the middle. So pull it through just like that. And then I'll hold that knot and I'm going to tie another knot right on top of it. Just like that. So I'm going to take these two ends, thread them on my needle. Get these ends together. Okay, so I'm going to take my chicken, and I want the eye to be about right there. And I'm going to pull those ends through. And then I'm going to stop once these ends come out, get it off my hook, and then pull to where the eye sits right like that. And now I'm going to take the other side, and I'm going to I'm going to knot these two ends together to create a little eye on this side. And then cut these ends pretty short. Now, if you want to, you can take a little dab of um, fabric tack and then just kind of dab it in there to hold it. I'm actually, I got mine right here. Good luck. So I'm just going to put that tip right in there. There we go. Run a dollop in there. I'm going to go ahead and do this side too. Right like that. Squish it. Okay, so now that ain't going to come out of there. Alright, now for your little comb thing. You know, that weird part of the chicken that feels funny. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bump that. I'm knocking everything down. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so I'm going to take my red yarn. I'm going to get a slip knot on my hook. Make sure your tail is long enough to weave in. That's not very long. Oh, that's better. All right, so now I'm going to take my chicken. And I'm going to kind of hold it. I don't want it to start too far at the front, right? I want to kind of start close to the eye, so I'm going to come to the single crochet that's right above my eye, so right in there. And I'm going to attach with a slip stitch. Chain one, and I'm going to single crochet right back in there. I'm going to single into the next, and into the next, into the next. 
to the back. That was wrong. I'm sorry. I messed that up. I was getting carried away. Single crochet into the one you attach to and then into the next. Then into the next, we're going to half double, half double into the next, half double into the next. And now we're going to go back to singles. Single into the next. And then I'm going to go right into the base and single crochet again. And chain one and pull up loop. And cut. So there is the little comb part. So I'm going to weave in these ends real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I got those ends weaved in. So now we're going to work the beak. So for the beak, I'm going to use yellow. You can use whatever color you want to. And you can use whatever color you wanted to for the little comb too. So I'm going to get a slip knot on my hook. Now I've made this beak several different times and sometimes it comes out great and sometimes it's like, ah, that was a little weird looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook from the eye out to the very tip. As far to the tip as you can. And I'm going to work a slip stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch one more time wherever I can get my hook. And that's it. Chain one, pull up a loop. Pull it tight. Now what I'm going to do is to the best that I can, which it kind of works out in my favor with this color yarn because it has yellow in it. I can kind of hide the yellow strands in the yellow um, part of my chicken and the yellow beak. But like on these, you know, you don't have yellow to hide your beak and tails into. So just weave it around into that yellow of the beak the best you can. So I'm going to pretend like I don't even have yellow to work into. because I mean, it is a different kind of yellow, but I'm just going to go. I'm going to go up. Uh, come back. And go in again. I'm going to snip that. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to leave it like that. That was a good place to pull it through and cut. Alright, so there is the beak. So it's not perfect. I mean, like some of these it looks really good and some of it is kind of, that's a little wonky looking, but it's my chicken and I love it. Um, and we're done. So we just, I need to go get an egg. Hold on. Okay, so I got a little Easter egg. I'm going to insert into the inside. And there is our chicken. So I'm going to get my area cleaned up and I'm going to come back and show you guys all the little chickens I've made. Okay, guys, <laughs> that's all my chickens I've made. <laughs> well, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my enjoyed my little tutorial here. Um, make up a whole mess of these and you can have them all over your house. <laughs> That'd be so adorable. And I just got mine on little Easter eggs. Um, little plastic ones for a dollar from Dollar Tree. Anyway, thank you guys so very much. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I think these are absolutely adorable. And uh, 
Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what I've got coming out next. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And please, 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 down below in the description box, there are links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, my email. However you want to contact me, follow me and, and um, uh, tag me in anything. I want to see how what you guys come up with with these with these little chickens. I think <laughs> you guys will make me laugh for hours looking at these. Anyway, uh, email me a picture too if you want to. And that's it from me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.